Hey everyone, just wanted to do a very quick update. I don't know if you can hear the boys howling in the background. They're outside. We just got home. I let Grant go to the bathroom. My husband had to give him a pain injection. Yeah, we picked him up and they said, are you comfortable giving him a pain uh, injection? And I said, no. <laughs> and I asked my husband, I said, are you, you comfortable um, giving him an injection? And he said, I'll do it. So he gave him his pain injection. Um, yeah, he's home. I don't know. I won't be able to show you his belly, but you should be able to see his stitches there where they took out his his mass. Um, yeah, so um, they were having problems getting him to eat. Um, I think it's just because he didn't want to be there. Um, Mozzie did the same thing when he had his gallbladder removed. I remember them saying, we can't get him to eat. And I said, well, I'll come up and feed him. Um, try to feed him, but... Um, that's when they ended up just sending him home early because Mozzie was only there for one night. Um, I think he's happy to be home. Um, got him out of the car, went pee for the longest time. I think this poor boy was holding his pee. Yeah. So he's in a big, he's in a very big crate. He's like a king right now. <laughs> he's got a big crate so he can be nice and comfy. I was going to have it set up out in the front, but I thought he likes being in here in his crate. So I thought, well, I'm going to get the big one out for him so he has lots of room to move around because he's going to have to rest and relax for quite a while uh, till he heals up. I don't want him jumping, running, uh, doing anything like that, chasing the cats. Um, so he's going to be in here for a while till his uh, incisions on his belly and his side heal up. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to try to feed him some dinner later. Um, they said he don't really need the... They mainly had the e-collar on for him because he was trying to bite everyone. <laughs> um, so he said he don't need it on unless he messes with his um, uh, incisions. Um, here comes Kitty. He's like, what's going on? What's going on in here? Kitty thought this uh, crate was for him. He was in there sleeping earlier. Had to kick him out because I didn't want kitty hair in there. <laughs> yeah, so um, he's doing good, though. He's doing good. And hopefully we can get him to eat a little dinner tonight. Um, and get him on a fast recovery. We got to go to the beach in about a month, Grant. You got you want to go walk on the beach. You got to get healed up so you don't get sand in your, your boo-boos. <laughs> yeah, we can't have you chasing the kitty. Nope. All right, I'm going to go, guys. Um, hopefully, I can make a longer vid video later. Um, it's just been a very busy day today, getting everything ready. Had some other stuff to do for the pet pantry. Um, and now I'm just going to be um, Nurse Schnauzer Mom <laughs> for a while for Grant. So, hopefully, I can get a um, better video up. If you guys have any questions about anything that went on with Grant, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them in the next video. Um, yeah, so thank you guys again for all your prayers. Um, thanks to those who have sent donations. The surgery ended up costing uh, $5,700. Um, maybe a little more than that. I'm not sure. My husband just said $5,700. So um, he had called and had it all um, paid for before uh, we picked him up. So I think all those who um, sent donations uh, for Mr. Grant, we appreciate it. So all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys again in the next video. Bye.